Okay, so what's going on? And today I'm going to show you guys how to create a uh, kind of physical kind of drop down menu type of kind of thing. You'll see what I mean when we get into it. It's quite hard to demonstrate unless I show you. So, first of all, what you want to do is go into blocks and uh, just create your standard your standard menu if you like. Uh, I don't need to create a new page actually. We're just going to duplicate this button. Let's go on brick. Duplicate. There you go. Duplicate it and open up the menu here. So you want this to be, uh, we'll say products for the sake of, for the sake of this video. So there you go. Oops, about wrong. Um, then you want to go on to open drop down, get rid of one of the options here. Uh, you just want to make sure this arrow is here by the side. Uh, then you want to create a your drop down menu. So what you want to be drop down, we want to be appear and disappearing as you click click that button pretty much. Um, so. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna have some. What do you want to have? Let's have. Let's have. Let's have the team. Let's have our team underneath. Underneath our underneath the thing. So it's gonna make these a bit small. But keep those how they are. Uh, we're then gonna want to add in some more. Some more blog features. So we're gonna hold. I think it was Alt. Alt. No, it was an Alt command. It was command. We're gonna add a few more blo uh, blocks in here. Uh, I'm gonna change the color of these as well. It's gonna make the tetawa. There we go. That'll probably do to be honest. So literally, that's a very very bad explanation. But say in this one, you want to show your team. So actually, we're gonna change this to uh, team here. So there you go, team. Uh, ignore option one for now. I uh, simply just want to export the product actually. Um, so, desktop, so it was banter, uh, poor product name, doesn't matter. Get rid of that. So, here we go. I want to open up banter. Uh, yeah, I want to go in, open your index in your favorite code editor. Mine's personally brackets. Uh, yours can be whatever, obviously. Uh, you then also want to open your JS file here. So, uh, for this case, I'm going to open blocks.js. Um, then explain myself a bit more here. So, index this is already linking to jQuery so we need to do anything this actually is powered by jQuery you want to scroll right down to the bottom of the document uh, right down to the bottom tag just leave an ex a space here and I'm going to open up snippets lab which is okay and open up snippets lab um, we then want to go on to this toggle up and down code I'm just going to copy and paste it in here and then talk through what it means so the first one is basically when the document loads, it's then going to do block one, which and hide it. So in order to find hashtag block one, go into our index. I've uh, then got your header section. Here you go block one. That's the thing that's going to appear right underneath the thing, and it is called surprising ID block one. You just want to so an ID is a hashtag. So you want to put a hashtag block one dot hide. Uh, no other calls are needed. Uh, yeah, the next function is actually when dot drop down, which is called here class drop down is uh, is pressed. It will open. It'll toggle uh, down uh, block one. So in other words, it will show block one whenever you click it, and it'll do this in a slow manner. You can put slow, uh, medium, or faster. We're gonna we'll do it slow just for the demonstration purposes. Uh, I don't want to close off these two, obviously. I'll leave this code in the description so you can comment and paste it into your blocks products quite easily. This is really good for hiding, concealing menus. You know how it is. You want to make sure you save that, obviously. Um, and also, there's another little thing we've got to do. So, in here, on class dropdown toggle, you want to get rid of data toggle dropdown. Now, what that, what that does is basically disables the actual option one from coming down. Um, so here you go. That basically gets rid of that. Um, tricks it into thinking it's a, it works. So now we're going to open up index.html. See, team's already gone. Open up team. Bang. You get a nice toggling animation here of your team. It works pretty well. Uh, even even works well. For example, if you're on an iPad, and then of course if you go into here, click on team. Uh, it doesn't look entirely good on uh, mobile, but yeah, I think that's just this the team one like block I picked. But of course, if you create your own menu, this would look pretty cool indeed. 
Um, you can also change the speed, so that's what we're going to do now. We're going to change it to fast. Command S. Refresh the page. Ready? Bang, 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 bang. And normal, you just you just leave this blank here. Command S, and this will load up at the normal pace. So normal's blank, slow, and then fast. Those are the three uh, speed. Okay, so this has been a quick, really short video on how to basically create the use uh, use jQuery within your blocks files. Soon, in the next update or the next major blocks update, you'll be able to actually attach these uh, the JS files on export. So you'll be able to kind of guess which one's block one, block two, block three. You can actually give these a custom ID anyway. So if you knew what on export you wanted to this to be called menu, you could call it menu like that, and then on export it would be called menu so that's done for you there already so it's quite easy to build these little JS sheets if you like if I was you I'd uh, start creating them now like I've done here and then save them in a text save uh, program like snippets lab which I think is really cool one of my favorite programs to use I uh, love it and uh, yeah so that's all for today's video I remember I'll leave this code in the description thank you for watching this video guys and I'll see you in another video bye bye